In two months' time, the Corn Ferry Tour will return back to southwest Indiana and bring with it some exciting golf. Our sports crew brings us the latest from the new course the Corn Ferry Championship calls home. For the past five years, Victoria National was the host site for the Corn Ferry Tour Championship, and now they'll move up the road to French Lick right here at the Pete Dye Course. Alongside Colin Davies, I'm Michael Gross, and this will be the spot where 30 Corn Ferry Tour players will get their PGA Tour cards in the Corn Ferry Tour Championship. 84% of current PGA Tour players have gone through the Corn Ferry Tour, and what a magical spot to be able to accomplish that feat. And one of those guys in those, that statistic is Scotty Scheffler, fresh off an Olympic gold medal so yeah. this is the start of dreams that are going to be made and we spoke to a former player Dennis Paulson and he emphasized how important that this tour is to the players that go on the PGA Tour. I mean it seems like there's so many more stories of guys that got the PGA Tour card that have been successful. Um, we used to keep track of the numbers Patrick. I don't know if they have that anymore but we were over 600 when I was playing and that was Oh, in, in, in 08, probably, there was at least 600, 600 wins on the PGA Tour that were attributed to guys from this tour. And being at a new course presents new challenges. And, Michael, this course is not easy. Yeah, if you can see behind me, this is the first hole, I believe. And there's a fairway bunker that spans almost the entire length of the hole. If you miss the fairway on these uh, on this type of course, you're either going to go down a hill or you're going to be at a foot of fescue. It just goes to show how challenging this course is. And Dennis Paulson uh, spoke to how challenging it was for any player, no matter the level. Technology and these athletes still have a time for this time. The tips, this is just a beast with the golf course. And I think even the longest years on tour would have a struggle because these fairways are tight. And the problem with tight fairways is when you have a lot of space. Tight fairways, the tree line, it's much easier. You kind of fit the ball in the fairway and you kind of get in the fairway. But this golf course gives you this feeling like you're just trying to sort of wet until you miss a fairway by two yards and you're standing on your ear trying to get a shot in the green. And when we spoke to one of the caddies, he said an 80s or 90s golfer can expect to shoot over 120. For a guy that's never broken 100 like myself, <laughs> it'll probably be over 160. But enough about the golf. This is also about charity. Yeah, it is. The Golf Gives Back Foundation, founded in the Evansville area to help at-risk children in southwest Indiana get an early childhood education. The goal this year is to raise $1 million, all for a good cause. There's just not enough conversation in the state of Indiana about early childhood and the impact that it can have on kids' lives. And so we recognized uh, our company, uh, that is, about 20 years ago, that you can make a difference in these kids if you get them into high-quality pre-K education. So that's what the primary charity is for the Golf Gives Back board. It'll be pretty cool to see how this golf tournament impacts the local community. Yeah, we hope they can reach that goal of a million dollars. October 3rd to October 6th will be the Corn Ferry Tour Championship right here at the Pete Dye course at French Lick, where 30 Corn Ferry Tour players will get that coveted PGA Tour card.